All right, here we are over at the Golf Wang website. This is their fall winter 2021 collection, which I think starts releasing soon. Uh, I believe they also release in drops and not the entire collection all at once. But that being said, we're going to take a look at everything that they got. Starting off, we have these jackets up here. Can't click on them. Look at like other product images. We just got this big kind of sheet of the front view of everything. So we'll have to stick with that. Uh, these jackets are interesting. Looks like an interesting material. Uh, almost like a varsity jacket type material. Obviously a different cut. A lot more baggy um, in certain areas. We also have the elastic cuffs and the waistband. Almost getting like a western vibe, but obviously not really. The kind of like arches and peaks that come down go a lot further than that of a western and maybe uh, missing another ridge over on the right hand side but yeah I don't know they're, they're interesting the colorways I've never really been into the baby blue so that's a skip for me but the the pink and green is good it's a, it's a good mix and then over on the right hand side we have this atom bomb or at least some big mushroom cloud explosion jacket all over print going on looks like it's a zip work jacket kind of cool be interesting to see if there's anything on the back but I doubt there is be kind of cool if they put like a big golf spell out across the back all right we have some sweaters the one on the far left I don't know not not feeling it we got a bunch of like zigzag electric bolts going on colorways too we have just like this puke green uh, rusty rusty orange I guess and then a light blue not feeling it but we got this nice natural off-white raspberry sweater going on this knit front and center i really like this this is a very nice this is a very nice piece very artistic and almost looking like like the vibes off this are very designer it's cool uh, it's a nice piece moving forward uh, like i don't know what else to just say it about it. it's, a, it's a dope piece especially if you like raspberries <laughs> and then moving forward we have some vests uh utilitarian i suppose we got a lot of pockets going on it's a zip front um not really for me though and then we have some sweater vests definitely not for me i guess they're a vibe colorways kind of missing on both of them in my opinion but uh moving on we have some button-ups stripes are way too thick not that there's anything wrong with this but colorways aren't they're not helping it out either we have the same colorways being used on the jackets that we saw first we got the pink and green and the baby blue and navy and i'm just not feeling it we also have these zip up uh work shirts it's like a three-quarter zip work shirt or something like that looking a little bit better uh, i don't mind these very very thin stripe um, going vertically on these got a little bit of golf branding on one of the pockets and then we have it coming in a pink colorway as well. Kind of cool. Uh, we have these polos, which interesting color blocking. I don't like the center one, but I do, you know, once again, the pink and green is looking good. Especially the green that they have in this iteration, this piece. It's more of like an evergreen. The other ones were kind of a little bit lighter, I suppose. Yeah, especially this one, like kind of like a puke green like the evergreen a lot more we have an all over print uh bull rider button up rayon uh hard to tell if there's any golf branding on it maybe somewhere like something like the guys wearing something golf i don't know um but yeah pretty similar we have i think like a pale green and then a baby blue oh all right yeah it does say golf right there in white so it's kind of hard to tell golf something else then we have these gradient button-ups which i'm i've never been a fan of gradient stuff so skip for me we have some contrast stitching pants also never been into contrast stitching so skips for me i will say it's interesting that they have the stitching going directly across the crotch not something you see often <laughs> and then looks like we have some just like normal denim um these two pairs right here we got a blue with some golf embroidery on the back pocket and then kind of like a minty green with black embroidery on the pocket 
Got some cargo pants, pretty basic. Got some uh, like chino shorts, pretty basic. Got some cargo shorts, camo. Uh, looking pretty cheap, honestly. Like the camo, tacky, this like blue camo, I don't know. And then we have some, kind of hard to tell what material this is, like a velour, maybe? Maybe a terry? I don't know. But we got a natural colorway right here, a little bit of like an ivory off-white. And then black, or maybe like a dark, dark green. And it's also kind of hard to tell what they have going on for the golf print. Something floral, maybe? We have a snakeskin print, which I'm not really feeling. Looks like a water short. We have snakeskin print hoodies with the golf spell out. I don't think I've ever been into snakeskin. And all these, although these are like staple hoodies, maybe it's kind of like the box logo for them, the Supreme box logo or the Triferg. It feels a little bit like a dated design. Not that that's a bad thing, but I don't know. Uh, we have interesting golf wing spell out like style font almost looking like rick and morty or something coming in a different a couple of different colorways and then we have the bull rider once again we have the little like golf something something hard to tell what it says um i think i like it better on its own like this rather than the all over print and then we have something golf like worldwide or something you know can't zoom in on these so it's kind of a pain i do like the green on the heather gray that's always a color that i've kind of liked so I feel that the green on black works obviously too. Brown on white, probably my least favorite. Uh, we also have this logo, which I'm sure it's referencing something. Usually a lot of these golf designs will reference something. I'm just not sure what it is though. Um, let's see, especially this one. This looks very familiar. Something like some C logo, like SeaWorld or something maybe has this. I don't know. And we have this one, the eyeball spell out. I don't know. Almost looks like it might be a, a patch, like a Chanel patch, with how like vibrant it is. Kind of looks like it has depth too. Uh, we have this kind of electric gradient going on. Not feeling it. Think golf. <laughs> uh, with an interesting cutoff for the G. Got this coming on a couple different long sleeves, or these are probably crew necks with the, the elastic on the bottom. Uh, golf. Uh, center for something. I don't know. I think I, I blew this up before and I could read it, but yeah, I can't read it right now. Golf center for, uh, I don't know. It's too hard to read. I'm sorry. But we have a surgeon with some jumper cables and then we have a design stepping in some gum coming in a couple different colorways. The jumper cables one is all right, but not something I would buy. Same with the gum one. Actually, the gum one I just don't really care for. Then we have the Think Golf stuff coming on some tees. The eyeball ones coming on some tees. Don't really care for it. Um, we have this one, which looks like it's people doing different like yoga poses almost. It's a pass for me. And then we have the cow, uh, the bull rider on some tees. We have that golf like worldwide type thing. Also coming on some tees, um, paint the world, golf wang. Maybe it's like a Sherman Williams type of design. <laughs> and we got bucket hat, a couple more bucket hats. Got some flat brims, not really feeling any of them. Oh, it's raspberries. All right, that's what was on the back of those shorts where I said it was something floral, which makes sense. We got the raspberry crew neck or the raspberry knit sweater. Um, yeah, some more hats. Embroidery looking crazy on this blue one and this purple one. Doesn't really pop on this middle one, though. All embroidered, you can tell. Uh, some printed truckers. My, probably my, like, my least favorite design that they put on those ones. And then we have the camp caps, um, where you get the golf like box logo, which, you know, obviously Tyler kind of pioneered the whole Supreme Camp Cap movement back when he was with Odd Future, so makes sense that he's making hats like this you know they've been doing the golf hats for a long time too and then we got some beanies put patch got some socks i like the think golf socks i don't really know 
I don't know if I really care for it on the hoodies or the tees, but I think the socks are nice. They're a nice touch for it. <laughs> the, the raspberry embroidered socks, probably pass. Same with that. Yeah, a lot of these socks I'm not really feeling. And so we have, then we have some dog collars and a leash. Uh, I do like that they have the G on the end of the leash collar. Yeah, the leash, I guess. And then a little G on the collar, kind of cool. I think this is like a laptop sleeve. Got a card holder. I don't like the gradient stuff. They're, they're really like missing out on me this season because of all the gradient. I've never cared for it. Then we have some leather keychains and a backpack coming in lime green which is also a color that i've always like kind of skipped on they uh have accents done in this bright orange and then a uh, like teal bright blue which either of those colors is the main one and then swap it around a little bit maybe i like it more but yeah that that green i'm not really feeling and that's it for the season pretty pretty weak in my opinion i guess i don't know what are you guys thinking about it really the only thing that I'm feeling is this knit sweater, which once again, I do think is really cool, but a lot of the other stuff they're really missing on. <laughs> Maybe Tyler was just focused on this album instead of uh, the fall winter 21 collection. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think of it. What are you hoping to cop? Are you, uh, do you guys follow Gulf Wang? Do you listen to the new Tyler album? As always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video.